guys, we're looking at Murmuration today by Johnny Flynn. Uh, this was another request by Alex on Patreon. Uh, it's pretty simple in essence. We've got a verse, a kind of chorus, it's more of a refrain, but we'll split it into chorus, and a bridge. Uh, as with all Johnny Flynn, well, not all, but most Johnny Flynn songs, he plays in three times, we'll talk about that. So we'll go through a playthrough and then we'll check it out. So let's take a look at the rhythm first. Uh, we can also play the intro here and kill two birds with one stone. If we just take a B7 chord, which is two on the A, one on the D, two on the G, two on the E. And in the right hand, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bass pick. So in this case, it will be the A string. And then two downs. So it's just one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Occasionally he throws in an and right at the end. So we go one, two, three, and. So an up strum. And two, three, and one, two, three, and. Okay? You can kind of do that where you want, but we'll talk about some good places to put it in. So for the intro, he plays four bars of B7 and just occasionally moves between the A string and the D string for some bass notes. And then you could also play the F sharp, either with your middle finger coming across or your thumb, if you wanted to get that note in. Okay. For the verse, we're gonna play those chords, uh, that, that rhythm. Uh, our first line is B7, F sharp minor. So an E minor shape bar chord for the second fret, then an A, then an E. So one, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, we're in three. One, two, three. Okay, and I just keep them all on the downs. Next line is B7, F sharp minor, a, then we go to A sus2, which is taking your ring finger off so that you have the open B string. So if we go through that, one, two, three. Okay, there you could throw in a little up strum before the A sus2, so you'd have on the A. This is quite a nice place to throw one in. Then the second half of the verse is exactly the same thing. So we'll just put that all together, just those two lines. One, two, three. Okay, for the bit that we're calling the chorus, the words change so it doesn't always come across as so much of a chorus. We're gonna keep that same ribbon. We're gonna start on a B7 chord again. C sharp minor, a A minor shape bar chord at the fourth fret. We're gonna play A as a bar chord, so E shape at the fifth fret. And then back to E, which you can keep the same shape you can play as you normally would. So that first line is B7, C sharp minor, A, E. One, two, three. I'd like to throw in a little up there from the A to the E. Second half, C sharp minor, G sharp. So come across for E shape, fourth fret. Up to the A down to the E and this time play it as you would uh, with your first middle and ring fingers. Because we're gonna throw in the E roll onto the A just there. So that second line, one, two, three.
okay? Coming out of this, we have this E where we go pick, down, down. On the up strum, you roll your ring finger back so it's effectively playing an A. And then you roll back into the E. So really slow, it looks like this. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. a bit of a Johnny Flynn favourite, so if you like his music, it's a good thing to learn. Okay, into the bridge. And for the bridge, same rhythm again. We're going to start on a C sharp minor, pick down, down, up to the A on the bar, down to the F sharp minor, E. Then we have a slight change, C sharp minor again, A, B7, which he plays as an open chord, E. So those two lines together, one, two, three. Then we do the C sharp minor, A, F sharp minor, E again. Then we come into this bit which is similar to the end of the chorus. We play C sharp minor, G sharp, A, E. Do that again. And then this time bring in the rolled on A's again. That's last two bars, uh, last two lines, so eight bars. One, two, three. And again. And then the rolled on A's. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that lesson. You can check out more Johnny Flynn lessons here. If you want to request your own lesson on Patreon, just head over there and ping me a message, and uh, I'll see you on the channel very soon.